Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get started using Squarespace Developer. Um, Squarespace Developer is a really great tool for using the Squarespace platform, but being able to modify the underlying code in a very efficient way. Um, and therefore you can just make completely custom sites, but also have content management system access for uh, non-technical people on, on your team. So uh, let's get started here. So I'm going to be walking you through the quick start today. Um, to get started, I followed these uh, instructions, but it resulted in an, uh, an error, a 404, when trying to uh, create a new site and log in um, to my account. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but there's a workaround, thankfully. Um, so right here, uh, the starting point that um, I'll choose is a developer base template rather than a consumer one. This is really nice because um, it starts with very minimal styling and design and then so you don't have to fight um, styles that you don't want. Um, alternatively, you can enable developer mode on any template. You can see that it's very simple, um, powered by the Squarespace developer platform. Uh, I'm already logged into my account, so I'll click uh, create a site like this and um, here we go. It's uh, it's in here. If we go to my account, um, we can see that it's here. Um, we can also see that it expires uh, in a few weeks. Um, so the good thing about one good thing about developer mode is that uh, there's no expiration, um, so you don't have to pay at any point until you want to actually publish the site. So let's go ahead and develop uh, enable developer mode right now. So here in the menu. Um, we go to settings, then we go to advanced, and then down here, developer mode, and just uh, press that. Um, basically, uh, it'll tell you that there's a few caveats. Uh, there's no more updates or uh, bug fixes by the Squarespace team, but if you're doing this, um, you probably have a good sense of you know what you need to do in terms of updating your site anyway, so you don't really need to worry about that. Let's continue. So here we go, it's enabled. Um, you can see sandbox mode and they do not expire. Um, so right here we have some information. Um, we have the Git repository. Um, so what you, you can connect you can push code two ways. You can either use Git or SFTP. Um, I've always used Git, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So what you need to do is, before we grab the code and start working with Git, um, you wanna have Node and NPM. NPM comes with Node. Uh, so you wanna download that, and then you also want to make sure that you have Git on your system. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, uh, look into it. Um, let me know and I can maybe publish a tutorial about how to do that. So we can follow along with a quick start and so pretty much it shows you just enable developer mode and um, then we're going to connect with Git. So what you can do is then come over um, into your terminal here. Um, I have it set to my desktop as my directory. I'm going to go git clone and I'm going to paste the URL found from my developer um, settings. So cloning in, um, it's gonna ask for my username. Uh, I think that's just my email. And then the password. Oh, there's two T's there. Okay, and now we can see my template appeared right here. So what we want to do is we want to CD into that. Now we can see uh, the file structure here. Um, we're going to use a code editor, I recommend Visual Studio Code, to now grab those files. So let's open uh, template. And so what we want to do is in the terminal here, we want to make sure that we're in the root directory of our template. And we're going to want to download our space server. So we can come over here and um, we're gonna install it. Uh, there's 
I ran into an issue where I had um, permissions errors um, in installing it, so you're, you want to make sure that that's resolved. You can find that under the local development page and then um, permissions configured here. So you just go through these instructions here um, in your root directory on your computer. Come over here and npm install globally the, here, let's go back to root, um, the Squarespace server. So now we'll let everything install, um, read the file, accept. So now we can see that, well, in my case, it was updated since I already had it installed, but that will uh, add it for you. Um, another thing is that you want to enable JSON template and um, an extension in your code editor because that will then allow you to um, see the syntax and it with color coded syntax for a region file since that's specific to the JSON T language that Squarespace developer mode uses. Um, so here we go. Um, so let's run it. Uh, so we go Squarespace dash server and then all you need to do is put in the URL of your site. So let's go here and copy this one and uh, let's cd back into, we need to be in the root directory of the template, so let's run that again. Um, so you can see here now it's listening on port 9000, so let's go over here, local host, change that to 9000. Um, but we're getting an error here. Um, so it says unable to access this website. Uh, if necessary, use the auth flag. So this is really important. If your site is private, you need to append dash dash auth at the end of your commands for a Squarespace server. So let's now append that. Okay, and it's gonna ask for credentials again. Okay, and it's listening again, so let's refresh this page. It looks like it's still trying to load the assets. And there we have it. So if we go in the code now site title, we will change that to hello world. Um, so if you go here, refresh, it hasn't changed. But if you go to our local host here, you click enter, you can see now that it has. So this is really useful for being able to preview your changes before publishing them. And you can make as many changes as you want and view them in real time using local host, which is restricted just to your computer before then pushing to the main site. So when we do want to publish any changes that we've made, we'll go back here and we'll use git. So in the terminal, um, let's do git add, period, that adds all the changes. Um, one thing to note is you wanna make sure that node modules isn't in here. So I added it into git ignore to make sure that it doesn't push up because then you will be blocked since there's a maximum file size. So we wanna git commit and we'll say what we did here. Um, so git commit dash m changed title in uh, quotes. Now you can see one file change. So uh, git push. And so it just takes a second. If it, does, if it takes longer than a second, something's wrong and you'll probably have your um, code rejected for being too large. Um, so now we can see that uh, so site title, let's refresh the page here. And now it's been changed. That's kind of the basics of getting started with Squarespace Developer. Um, I'm gonna continue on and post some videos about how to do various things like API calls, how to really modify the template. So if you have any questions, leave comments. Um, I'll do my best to respond to them and subscribe for more uh, videos like these. Thanks for watching.